Up in the northern part of the Cascadian bioregion in Washington and BC, it's really common to see trees like western hemlock and western red cedar begin life on a fallen nurse log, much like this hemlock is behind me here, where the roots wrap down around that fallen nurse log. The, the log then erodes and decays, leaving a flying buttress or standing archway of roots that become habitat to a wide range of critters like black bears and stuff. However, here in the southern end of the Cascadian bioregion in Northern California, you tend not to have that as coast redwood trees typically don't germinate on fallen nurse logs. However, they do create some similar habitat though through an entirely different means. So we've got coast redwoods like this beast behind me here, which tend to have really thick quirky bark which helps insulate them from fires, much like that of Doug firs and ponderosa pines. However, they still are susceptible to fire, which eventually will kind of make its way in, burning out the heartwood, hollowing it out, creating a massive cavity like this here. Now the cambium of the tree is still alive, so it's working on slowly rolling over here and compartmentalizing this wound, but we still are left with this massive cavity that would be perfect habitat for things like bears. The unfortunate thing is that we are in America right now where people have an ill-founded disdain and hatred and fear for bigger animals like bears and wolves, so they tend to kill them all. You know, the last grizzly bear in California was killed over 100 years ago despite it being on the state flag, so there's not really any big megafauna left to take up this usable habitat, and instead, they're left as kind of tourist attractions for people to check out, ooh and ah, and, you know, maybe record the occasional selfie video in front of. Pretty wild.